I hope you've enjoyed this little taste of police work today. I know I've enjoyed sharing with you, so thank you. Your questions were very eye-opening. Have a nice day. Kira, could you stay a minute? I was just thinking about your question. Where do domestic violence victims go when they don't have anyone to stay with? I was just curious. Of course, I, um, I would just kick myself if I didn't. If you're scared to go home, I could get you placed in a shelter tonight. No one would ever need to find out where you are. What would happen to him? Would you arrest him? Depends what you tell me. Does he hit you? No. He would never do that. He just loses his temper, you know, punches walls, stuff like that. Yeah, I can only imagine. That's really scary. You know, that kind of violence, it can escalate really quickly. So just be honest with yourself. Do you feel safe with him? Not always. Why don't we get you a bed for tonight? Maybe a little bit of time away would be good. Okay. Thank you. You guys okay? Yeah. Moses' shop has seen better days. Where is he? Slipped out the back as soon as the shooting started. You know he's gonna go back at Clinton twice as hard. Be sure to brief the midnight shift in the gang desk. So we're gonna keep escalating until they take each other out. I'm seeing a lot of heart out there, okay? Uh, Blake, let's see you pitch. All right, let's go back out. Back to drills. Hey. Hi. Um, who are you? What? I, the, a lot of hearts? They're kind of a mess. They're kids. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah. This is weird, right? <laughs> Our dad coached Tim's Little League team for all of three days. He has literal scars. He's trying not to be like him. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is such a thing as overcorrecting. Hey, guys! Bring it in! Huddle up! What are you doing? You know, kids need to have fun, but they also need a little bit of structure. Hey. Hustle up! Okay, uh, my name is Lucy. I am Coach Bradford's friend. And we're gonna start with the basics, throwing the ball. So. First things first, make sure the ball is secure in your mitt, eyes on the target, step out with the opposite leg from your throwing arm, follow through, ball lands back in the mitt, and we'll cycle through that, okay? We're not gonna move on until everybody gets it. So, spread out, let's give it a try. You heard her. I think you two should co-coach. You were great together. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm ready to hand over the reins entirely. Not a chance. No, seriously. I saw today why you work so well together. I, it's just that... Uh... We spent so much time together on out on the job. It's so great that Tyler has been making friends so quickly after moving here. Yeah. I mean, Blake's mom works crazy hours, so he practically lives at our house. Mm. Hey, guys. We're about done. Let's wrap it up. Hey, hey. My mom just texted. My dad's coming to the game tomorrow. Oh, that's great. We'll make sure he gets the best seat in the house. Here, honey. What's up? Flake's dad ran out on them a year ago. Oh, do you know why? Outstanding warrants for assault and attempted murder. If he shows up tomorrow, we're gonna have to arrest him. Blake will be devastated. Oh, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll flake on his son again. Yeah, you're so bang. Excuse me. Hello. Officer Chen. It's Cherise from the shelter. The woman you sent over, Kira, she's a problem. What's going on? She kept asking if her friend Linda was here, and when I told her it was illegal for me to disclose anything about the people who stay in my shelter, she asked to be moved. Yeah, I think I know what's going on. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I, I'll head over right away. Thanks. John. There's something going on with my domestic. You want me to come? No, it's okay. I got it. You're leaving? Friend says that I can stay with her. 
Carrie, you don't have to lie to me. You're going back to Oliver. I don't know what you're talking about. You asked about Linda, right? I know that your boyfriend's ex-wife is named Linda. You're crazy. Did he tell you to ask for her and the kids? She stole his kids and pumped them full of lies. He just wants to explain. Kira, we know that he has been beating her for years. You don't understand. No, I do. I think he's using you. And maybe you were telling the truth earlier that he doesn't hate you, but statistics say that he will. Okay, so you need to get out of that house. I'm done talking. Wait, just... take my card, okay? You can call me. Take it. Kira, get in. You don't have to go with him. I don't. Yeah, she does. Get in the damn car. Oliver, you need to wait. Kira and I are still talking. I've got nothing more to say to you. You gave yourself a nice night. There's nothing you can do until she files a police report. She's not going to do that. She's under his spell, which is baffling to me, even though I understand the psychology behind it. Listen, I, I had this, this case early on, and a woman would call us. We'd arrest her husband. She changed the story. Details made no sense. DA couldn't prosecute. And she'd go stay at a shelter for a while, and then she'd go back to him. I just, I could never make sense of it. Well, what happened to her? He killed her, and afterwards, the uh, doctor showed us a CT scan, and there was so much damage, you'd think she was a professional boxer. Oh, God. No wonder her story changed so much. These cases are frustrating and hard. All you can do is keep circling back, and she may never be ready to leave, but it's important she knows that we'll be there when she is. Thank you. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Did you get my email about the deadbeat tenants? I did. Bailey is renting to these nightmare septuagenarians who have a history of torturing landlords. They grew toxic mold in their last rental to avoid paying rent. Which means you need to start playing hardball. Oh, listen, I can do that. Mm, I have my doubts. Look, it's just him and Bailey are just way too nice to be landlords. Totally. Okay, okay, hold on. You are a complete badass out on the streets, but off hours, I mean, you're a little... Easy target. Push over. That's... Hmm. All right, the good news is they haven't paid rent, so you can start the eviction process today. Based on their history, they'll probably take it to court because of the backups. Take a while to get a date. Uh, if you're lucky, you'll be rid of them in three months. Three? So meanwhile, I'll be out legal fees, and they'll pocket $18,000 renting out the place to make adult films. Wonderful. Okay, wait, they're doing a porn show? You didn't tell me that. I was afraid you would find a way to make it my fault. No, no, regardless, that is what's going to save you. Yeah, he's right. The lease terms specifically prohibit that. Makes the case more clean cut. Great. Just you wait and see how much of a pushover I can be. Is it too late to call in sick? No sick days for rookies. Settle.